Here is a picture of a small intestine. Notice, here is the wall. Notice, here is the looser submucosa. Notice, here is the rim of mucosa. Notice in this area, the muscular wall appears to be infiltrated by this tumor, which causes a very significant thickening of the uh, bowel, extends into the mucosa and submucosa, and looks like uh, infiltrates the muscular wall as well. This is a small bowel, however, and as soon as we see the uh, histologic slide, you'll see that these are villi here, so it can't be large bowel. And let me tell you something. Primary adenocarcinomas of the small bowel are very, very rare. They wouldn't be showing these as uh, teaching cases. But this is not an adenocarcinoma of the small bowel. You know this is a small bowel because you could see the villi, you could see the submucosa involved with some diffusely infiltrating nests. You could see them invade into the uh, uh, sub into the muscular layer as well. And because a lot of these little structures look like glands or like glands, you might want to call it an adenocarcinoma. But remember, it only looks like glands. It's not carcinoma, but it's carcinoid. And that's how it got its name. And this carcinoid is infiltrating the uh, sm little smooth muscle bundle down here. It's not clearly forming a gland, but in areas you might think it's forming glands. And whereas adenocarcinomas are clearly epithelial structures, the cells of carcinoid have a different derivation. They are uh, neuroendocrine cells, uh, and they are not truly epithelial cells. But in this area, not only do they look epithelial, but they look glandular, which is why they call have always called these carcinoids. And now I was correct. Small bowel does not have adenocarcinoma, but it is one of the favorite sites for a carcinoid. Uh, so probably in the large bowel, adenocarcinoma could be 10 or 100 or a gazillion times more common than carcinoid, but in the small bowel, it's the opposite. Uh, if you have a malignant infiltrating glandular looking neoplasm in the small bowel, and it involves and invades the smooth muscle. It's much more likely to be a carcinoid, which means all these cells then can stain positive for all the things that carcinoids are supposed to have. And they are not truly epithelial, but they are neuroendocrine cells. Thank you very much.